So today's entry is message. And in a lot of circles within role-playing games these days, there's always talk about what sort of message you're conveying within your um, particular game. Let me be blunt on this. Folk trying to dig up a certain message when it comes to cooperative gaming is making mountains out of molehills. The only message you should be concerned about is whether or not what you're doing is actually fun. And I know some people are trying to do the whole, oh, we need to get past fun as, the, as a concept. Like, no. Anytime, anytime that somebody tries to deconstruct or get away from these established archetypes, it always, always ends up backfiring. Well, sure, you might get some sex, success from it from the uh, short term, but you're not going to get. But it's not going to last. A lot of those deconstructions tend tend to not hold up with age. Like for, I always think of how Scream was trying to deconstruct the um, horror genre, do a ritual burning of it, and those movies sucked, <laughs> and they will continue to suck until someone ties me down and forces me to stop saying that they suck. The point is, is that when is that when you're trying to figure out what sort of message you want to send as the recent um, race guide that um, Wizards of the Coast is trying to put, put out to appease people who don't even play the damn game, you will, end up ha- you will end up having instance where you have to do two things at once, and you're having, and having to appease two different parties that aren't going to see eye to eye. The people who talk about your game on social media but don't actually play. And the people who actually play. And this is the reason why, like for example, that whole um, combat wheelchair thing that everybody was making raves about. I looked at the thing and I thought, you know what? If it weren't for the fact that this was being used to show show how inclusive they they are for the disabled, I wouldn't mind it. If they just presented the combat wheelchair as its own thing. But the way that it was presented, as if it's expecting some sort of lo- some sort of crown of laurels just for just for having it there, is the reason why that thing was always going to flop for me. And the same goes with games that are trying to do some sort of message, because once it's in the player's hands, whatever sort of message that you're trying to convey is all but dead. I'm not the biggest fan of the concept of death of the author, and I don't think it applies in this particular case because you're dealing with interactive media, not um, passive media. The fact is, tabletop gaming is going to be a sandbox, and people are going to use that sandbox to get different things. Some of them viable, some of them less so. It's the nature of the beast. Trying to force that experience into one specific thing that you happen to want does not do you or the player base any favors. If anything, it it treats the player base as if they're children. And I don't know about you, but it's been a long time since I've been in kindergarten. 